Okay guys, so we've done the gravity powered car, so now we're going to take that apart and I think I might make a mousetrap car. I've used this one before, but uh, hopefully it still works okay. So I need to take this apart. Mount the mouse trap just about there somewhere. So the line goes round there, hooks round the back axle. And we'll try it like that. If it doesn't go very far, I'll put a extended arm on it, but I'll try it just the simple fix first. And before I do that, I think I might just take this bit out of the centre here. That's got a magnet in it and that helps the drive locate the DVD or CD when it's in place. But I don't need it there and I'll take it out because I might use that for something else later. A bit of hot glue on my mouse trap. If I wanted this to last a long time, I'd put a couple of nuts and bolts through there. But as this is only a quick temporary job. I'm just hot gluing it. Because I've used this mouse trap before, it's already got a bit of fishing line tied round the arm, and it's just the right length. So it can go round my hook or peg in the back axle, wind up the back axle. Just release that. That's going to work okay. Just a matter of how far it freewheels. So we'll take it down to the kitchen and try it out. Just before we go, that's that bit I've taken out of the middle. So it's got a little magnet in there that's worth knowing about. It might be useful for something else. Right, kitchen and test run. Right, test run for the mousetrap DVD drive. We're in my kitchen. I'm afraid the washing machine's on, so there's a bit of background noise. Okay, fishing line. Round the peg on the back axle. it up. I could have rounded the surfaces off just to make it a little bit better. And the springiness on the on the fishing line is trying to drive the car forwards anyway. So I think what I'll do rather than use the release mechanism I'll just hold it in place. Purposes. Summary time. First obvious thing is we've got wooden wheels. That's because I've run out of CDs. Um, this car would probably go better if I had CDs because the wheels are a little bit heavy. 
still using the metal chassis from the DVD drive. I've just hot glued a mouse trap on top of it, a bit of fishing line tied to the lever arm, with a loop on the end of it. Loop goes through the or round the peg on the back axle, and when you let it go, that spins the back axle. Can't get much simpler than that. If I wanted to improve this mousetrap car, I'd definitely change these wooden wheels back to normal CDs because these are a bit heavy. And I might put a longer lever arm on here to give us a little bit more distance because that, that is the total length of the fishing line and in fact only about half of that actually goes around the back axle because you've still got quite a length there that's not being used. So what's that? About three inches of movement. Whereas if you put a longer lever arm on it you could well have as much as you like up to the limit of the strength of the mouse trap. Right, I hadn't really intended to do this, but I couldn't resist it. I've pinched some wheels off one of my other cars, so I've got some CDs now. The axles are bicycle spokes, so they're nice and thin, so we've got low friction on the bearings. On the back axle, that's actually a pencil that the lead has slipped out of, so it's a hollow pencil. So I've just hot glued that over the back axle to give us a bit of extra thickness. So we'll see how this goes. As you can see, significantly faster acceleration and lovely freewheeling capability. You see it's just rolled all the way back, just on the strength of hitting the wall at the end there and bouncing back. So if you want a really good mousetrap car, the trick, trick there is the bicycle spoke axles because that's reduced the friction significantly and I didn't even need to put a longer lever arm on it. 